Welcome back to DOS Tech. So today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to install an Intel CPU. This will apply for sockets LGA 1155, 1156 and um, also 1150. So the first thing you want to do is find your processor's box and then you want to want to open that, take out the heatsink and there'll be a little plastic tray like that with the CPU in it. So, you're going to want to open your CPU socket by going to the retention arm at the side, pushing down on it slightly outwards and then pull it upwards and it will open like so. And you can lift the metal bracket up. So now the socket is open. So what you're going to want to do is get the plastic package of the CPU, find the little golden arrow in the corner, one of the corners, there it is. And uh, you're going to want to line that up with the one on the uh, CPU socket itself, there you go, you can see that in that corner. So now you just want to make sure the orientation of those matches and at which point you can open the plastic package containing the CPU. So once you've done that, carefully lift it out by holding the sides with your fingers and not touching the top or the bottom because that could disrupt the elect electrical conductivity or the uh, thermal paste. So. You just want to lower it into the socket, lining up those arrows and also the notches on the side which you should be able to see when you've taken out the package. There we go, just drop it in, uh, no insertion force needed, just give it a little wiggle side to side, make sure it's not actually uh, loose in any way. So once you're sure it's in there, you can shut the bracket down, like so, and then just push that lever down, pull it outwards again push it in under the latch, which point the lock is in place. So the CPU itself is now in the socket. So the next thing you want to do is find the heatsink that came with your computer. Uh, the heatsink that came with the uh, CPU in the box uh, was this standard Intel model here, which you can see. Um, these heatsinks are okay, and you can use them, providing you're not doing any overclocking or anything like that. Um, but this this is not really going to cut it if you're a heavy gamer and you're planning on overclocking your system and get a little bit before more performance out of it. So in this case uh, we've actually got a custom backplate which is in the case itself so all we want to do is um, all we're going to do is just place it on top and screw it down rather than the, uh, the push pins found on these models here. Uh, the way these work is there's a hole in the motherboard and then you can just uh, place this on top. It's got pre-applied thermal paste on the bottom, so you don't need to worry about that. So you can just place this on top of the uh, CPU, line it up with the four holes that will be in the motherboard. You can actually kind of see them on here, there, on the corners. And you, what you do is you just press these little push pins down. They'll make a nice reassuring click, and the thing will be uh, attached to the top of the CPU, and there should be good contact there for dissipating the heat which comes off the CPU. But in this particular case, the Alienware X51, what we're going to want to do is um, just place it on top and there's actually uh, screws which have got springs attached to them so they are self-tensioning so that you can tighten them all the way and the tension across the CPU will be correct. So the first thing you want to do is take the uh, CPU, make sure it's... take the heatsink, sorry, and um, make sure it's out of the way and then what you want to do is go to the CPU with some thermal paste take the cap off of the uh, thermal paste tube and then you're going to want to go to the top of the CPU with it and uh, place a very small pea sized dot right in the middle and then just that'll do and then you can just spread it out well just let it make sure it's come off maybe a little bit much on there but that's alright so I just want to put the cap back on on that so it doesn't drip everywhere. There we go. So the next thing you're going to want to do is get your CPU heatsink. Make sure it's lined up correctly. Okay, so we want to get your heatsink now and then you're going to want to slowly 
press it onto the top. Well, not press it, just drop it on to the top of the CPU. And um, once you've done that, lined up the screw holes, just drop it in there. There we go. Just get a little tiny wiggle from side to side, make sure the uh, thermal paste is spread out evenly. There you go. So now you want to do is get yourself this particular model, you get the screwdriver and you, uh, you're you going to want to tighten these in a cross pattern because otherwise you might get uneven you might get an uneven set on top of the CPU which could change so you only want to go slightly on there, don't want to go all the way down with that so you want to go to the other side before you tighten that completely and um, that way you get an even coverage of the, uh, the thermal paste over the CPU so that it's not going to overheat or have any issues so once you've done that, you want to go continue with the cross pattern. So just go from side to side until they're all evenly on, and then you can tighten them all the way down fully. It's so it's important to make sure that you um, plug in the heatsink fan. You can see this four four pin cable there, and um, that plugs into a small header next to the heatsink. Uh, on these these style heatsinks, uh, you pull the wire off, and now it's actually clipped under and then you can wind it round, you can wind it around and plug it in wherever you like but this one's got quite a short cable so it needs to be mounted the correct way which we didn't have it so uh, we've just switched that round now so um, on the, that you should be done now on any other computer but on this particular model the Alienware X51 we have to apply a uh, plastic shroud um, which directs the airflow out the back of the, uh, the case so that's that piece going on there so there's two little uh, little knobs on the bottom which sort of go in two of the fan holes and two of the other screw holes actually have proper screws that go in them which uh, Colin's just putting on now. Okay, so um, that's 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 finished now. So, if you are um, having issues with the uh, CPU overheating and shutting the computer down at random, um, you might want to take that heatsink off and check the thermal paste application. Um, so you might put too little on, and uh, that might cause it to not transfer heat properly into the copper heatsink, and uh, that could cause it to overheat. So, uh, other than that. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you again soon on my channel.